This is maybe the most disturbing thing I've seen in here just yet. Hi guys, thank you for tuning into Amy's Crypt. I am coming at you from Salzburg, Austria. And although I am here to watch the Krampus runs and suss out the very beautiful Christmas markets, I have found a few creepy places in town. Today I'm gonna to take you around the St. Sebastian Cemetery, which is one of the most creepiest. reasons I wanted to share this place on my channel and show you guys around is because I heard it's very creepy and the reasons that make it creepy is its architecture and the art that is displayed here. There's a lot of uh, sort of gothic inspiration here and there's a lot of skulls, uh, crossbones um, and symbols of death all throughout. If we look just here, we've just walked in and there's like a small baby crying I guess, standing on a skull. And then further over here, there's crossbones here and here. And this is apparently all throughout the cemetery. So let's go have a look around. This one I've just noticed, at first I thought it was an earthworm, but it's actually a snake coming through this skull, which is so creepy. And they're also here wrapped around these bones on the sides. I am not sure what that is symbolic of, if it is anything. If you guys have any ideas or thoughts on that, let me know in the comments below. But this is just creepy to think that this is actually someone's grave and this is shown on it. We've also just found this skull hanging out of the wall and Jared's told me it's a candle holder, which is kind of cute. <laughs> Not creepy, right? So I've just found a grave that not only looks beautiful, but it's a little bit interesting. also features a photograph of a young boy. I'm assuming this is his grave. It's hard to read. This is maybe the most disturbing thing I've seen in here just yet. This caged up Jesus with blood and chains. I 
of an interesting thing that I haven't actually seen in a graveyard before. Are a lot of the graves have these little dishes here? I don't. I don't actually know what they're for. So this one's quite disturbing as well. We have an image carved here of an extremely emaciated man and it's supposed to be representative of death uh, holding an hourglass here. And it's supposed to act as a reminder to us all that we will all one day die. St. Sebastian Cemetery is actually quite an old place. It was first erected back in 1502 and it also holds a few very important historical figures. They are important to medicine, religion, arts and music. It even holds a couple of Mozart's family members. This one looks really cool and actually quite impressive and it depicts uh, Jesus dead in a cave down here. And I'm not sure but there's an angel at the top. Is that carrying Jesus away? That's a very impressive one. We should count them. Yeah, why are they? It's kind of the same thing where it's got the crying kid and the skull. I need to look that up because I have no idea what that means. So the cemetery is in a rather large courtyard of a church and it's in a massive square, a lot of graves in the middle but in the very dead centre is a big mausoleum here and it's absolutely grand and beautiful. Unfortunately it's locked so we can't really get in to have a real good look but just peeking in through the grate it looks beautiful in there too. I like this font. I want to use it in one of my videos. <laughs> so cool. Thank you.
thank you guys so much for watching i hope that you enjoyed this video if you did please remember to like comment share and subscribe i would also love to know about any creepy cemeteries you guys have explored please let me know about those in the comments below and remember guys until next time stay spooky